Hey guys, iPhone for Idiots here with a couple of quick tips on Safari. I'm sure you guys know this, but maybe one or two of you don't, so we'll just look at it real quick. So, um, I was just in Safari uh, checking out Texas Comeback, so it opened to that. But let's say you want to read some about the Alabama game. You can, if you just press and hold the link, you can open it in a new page. So there it goes, it's opening a new page. Well, while it's loading, you can slide back over here, stay on the same page you are reading, see if there's anything else you're interested in opening, and then when you're done, close it, go to another link, whatever. But the Alabama game that I wanted to read about at this point is loaded and is already open, so that doesn't save much time, but it saves a little bit and it's just it's, uh, more convenient to open new sessions, at least I think it is. Um, Another interesting little uh, button here you should use is this little plus sign. If you just press that, um, add to home screen. Um, I like this one. Uh, basically, you're just adding whatever page that is. Is you're creating an icon for it on your home screen. So I have one that gets me to my email, and I also have one so, that gets me to. There you can see, nice little icon that uh, created for the website, or to get to the website. So, let's see, all you, when you tap on it, just immediately it's going to open up, slide over to a new page, and take you to what that, uh, whatever page that icon was created for, which is, um, I think, kind of nice, especially if there's one or you know, a couple of sites you go to all the time. It's a little, little bit easier, a little bit faster. Okay, so the last simple tip is, um, again, I'm sure you know this, but... If you're on a web page and you're reading or scrolling for whatever reason and um, you're down here, the quickest way to get back to the top, you don't want to have to scroll back, is just tap up here at the status and it just shoots you back up to the top. Very simple.